As designers, we often rely on stock photos to make our websites look good. But the problem is that premium stock photos are often expensive and when it comes to free stock photos, they tend to be overused. They are all over the internet. So I found a quick and easy way to recreate those stock photos for free using Midjourney. Let me show you how to do this. As you can see here, on the left we have photo from Paxos, which is a free stock website, and on the right is the one I generated by using Midjourney. As you can see, there are very similar photos. So now I'm gonna show you the pro behind these photos, but first let's talk about the problems with stock photos. This is a photo that my client is using on their website. Here is the client website. We have this photo, and if you right click, and if you go to search image with Google, you can actually see where this same photo is being used on all these other websites so what we can do about that so let me show you how to write great prompts so that you can replicate and even make better photos for yourself right we're gonna start with imagine then the URL of the photo that we want to replicate and then we still want to describe the photo for example subject is a smiling black woman and then description is looking at the camera in front of her laptop then we can add something like dash dash AR and aspect ratio now there are three ways to write prompts you can use me journey's comment describe you can use the original description of the photo from the website and you can use ChatGPT to generate you some prompt ideas. Now let's jump to mid journey. As you can see here, I basically use this describe feature right here and gave me some ideas. Then I run these prompts and I got these new unique and custom photos, which look like the original one, right? Let's just start by typing slash describe, hit enter, then upload the original photo that we want to replicate or reimagine, and then just hit enter. It's gonna just take a second and mid journey should give you four different prompt ideas. Now you can run these prompts by clicking these buttons, one, two, three, four. But a better way is to actually click on this photo, then copy the image address and use it as an image prompt. And I'm gonna explain in a second. So let's run one without and one with. Okay, so I'm just, I'm not gonna modify anything. I'm just gonna run this first prompt and then I'm gonna run the same first prompt but with image prompt so I just pasted that image URL and then I'm gonna copy that prompt and I'm gonna paste it after the URL now here we have the results but as you can see those photos are quite different the lighting is different and so on maybe because of the second part of the prompt which is probably irrelevant what you can do is you can actually run this prompt yourself by typing in imagine and then pasting the URL of that image just copy the image address and paste it here and then just copy paste the prompt now as you can see it here these are much more similar to our original photo right this is because I used the URL of that image as a reference so that means journey knows what we want more precisely now I believe that this prompt is not perfect you, what you could do it actually and use the description of the original photo or, or keywords to write our own prompt because for example uh, we didn't really want any dreadlocks she doesn't have dreadlocks so the original photo you can find on Paxos here is the link you can find it in the description but basically it's gonna give you some description like happy ethnic woman sitting at a table with laptop I think it's short Shorter and it's better and we can even click here and we can even use some of these settings for our camera to try to achieve the same kind of a shot right let's write our own prompt this time so we're gonna go imagine I'm gonna paste this okay and I'm gonna use this to achieve the same ratio because if you don't use it it's just gonna be a square and, and it's more of a portrait and of course we want to use this in the beginning of our prompt now these results are pretty good as well perhaps closer to what we have especially the second one but you can just iterate on those photos until you get something that you really want right so if you really like this original photo this is quite similar you can just zoom in and it's gonna be basically the same even the hand is the same style the curly hair, the laptop, and so on. Another way you can write prompts is you can just use ChatGPT to help you generate some prompts. So for example, I would actually 
describe it as a smiling black woman in front of her laptop in an office setting. That's probably the closest representation of that stock photo. Okay, so you can use also ChatGPT to have you write the prompt and you do it this way. You're just saying, here is the prompt structure. I'm gonna paste this and I'm gonna say dash dash AR 8 by 9 and then we're gonna replace black woman let's say you want to generate like a series of images right we're just gonna say person description then i'm gonna change this prompt a little bit behind her laptop in an office set then i'm gonna say give me five ideas for different prompts so for example it could be a smiling young intern with glasses right or a smiling seasoned executive in her elegant suit right a smiling creative designer and so on. And so you can just run these prompts and get a series of similar photos that would be just similar to this. So you can just modify these prompts. So there is this great feature you can use also, which is shorten and then paste the prompt. And basically what it does is Midjourney is gonna tell you what really matters in this prompt, right? So as you can see, Midjourney actually helps you write prompts and shorten them and make them more effective, right? So you can run different prompts to see what type of results you get. Now, so this is how you generate a custom photo based on your stock photo. Here is the original prompt that I ran for the first time. And as you can see, the description was quite basic. Just so smiling black woman looking at the camera in front of her laptop and with the ratio right here. And then again, you can use these buttons to zoom out, get more of the picture or create variations you can upscale this photo and then what you can do is you can create variations of this photo by clicking this button right here which is going to give you an option to actually modify your prompt to get different results right so let's say i want to describe this differently i want to say a black woman with curly hair sitting at a table with laptop okay, so let's run this and so now as you can see here i was able to modify the prompt and change her hairstyle so she got curly hairs now she doesn't have these dreads right and she also looks basically looks like the same person right so you are almost like having your own photo shoot right and being like a photographer without actually having to hire someone hire a model get into the studio and that would be very expensive now if you need this photo in bigger size you can enhance this photo by using some ai upscaler like this one for example so i was able to upscale this photo and this is quite cheap but most of these tools are going to ask you for the subscription but anyways there are some free options just check link in the description now the last question not of people ask is can you sell ai art can you sell those photos that you replicated or reimagined on stock websites like iStock, shutterstock and so on so the short answer is yes but on adobe stock currently on adobe stock accepts ai generated images so yes you can sell them on adobe stock but you just need to tag them that they're ai generated now i believe that ai generators like midjourney they're a great alternative to stock photography if you know how to use them the right way you can basically replicate any kind of a stock photo and you can make it a little bit more custom and make it your own and remember it's only going to get better so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this it was Alex Vorinchak from Event Design and i will see you in the next video